Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Mosionzik and Nikolaevsky that was played in Moscow in 1972. Where is Moscow? Moscow is the capital city of Russia. White started with e4, black played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5, Roy Lopez, a6, attacking bishop, bishop to a4, knight to f6, attacking pawn on e4. Most popular move in this position is castling. Instead, white played queen to e2, defending pawn with queen b5 attacking bishop, bishop to b3, knight to a5, black wants to get rid of bishop, d4, knight takes bishop, pawn takes knight, this is right correct uh, capture, opening the file for rook, pawn takes pawn, e5, knight to d5, knight takes on d4, bishop to b7, not only protecting knight, but Bishop is eyeing pawn on g2. White castled, and now black played a very aggressive move. Queen to h4, making white worried. Perhaps the strongest move in this position is rook to d1. White played knight to f5, attacking queen. But instead of moving his queen, black played knight to f4, attacking queen and pawn on g2. White played queen to d1. He expected, because knight is attacking queen, he expected queen to go to g5. Then he would play knight to g3, and uh, he thought he is doing well in this variation. But, in this position, black found very strong move. What is the strong move? Well, Knight to h3 is strong. Black played queen to h3, which is also very strong. Black is threatening check mate on g2. If pawn takes queen, then there is checkmate. So what should white do in this position? Well, there is a way to defend, but this is very difficult to find and white didn't find the right move. But if you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to defend White's position. Are you ready? This is the only move that keeps White in the game. This is check. Why? Well, let's see why. Black must take. And now, Rook to D1. This is check. Making room for king to escape. So after king to c8, it is safe to take queen, and when knight takes, we check king to f1, and white survived. Okay, instead of playing queen takes on d7, white played knight to e3, defending pawn with knight, but let's count how many defenders are there. So there is one, two defenders of g2 and how many attackers? One, two, three. So this defense will not hold. Black captured with bishop and white resigned because if he takes with knight then there is checkmate. So the only reasonable move would be rook to e1 but then bishop to f3 attacking queen, queen to d2 and one of the winning moves in this position is queen to h5, threatening check on g5, and if king, for example, tries to run away, then queen takes on h2. So white wasn't interested in defending, he resigned in this position. What a powerful attack! And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.